Kenny Pheasant here, one more time with our show, Endying. And uh, today, our lesson is going to be about the words that we used before the clock came to our culture. Now, uh, I did a video a while ago about uh, time and stuff like that, but I come to realize we don't even use those words. So, I mean, they exist. How to say 1 o'clock, 1.30 and all that, a.m., p.m., we have, they exist, but nobody really uses them. I don't know why, but <clears throat> here's, uh, when I put this lesson to this, together, I thought, okay, what words did we use before the clock actually came to our culture? Okay, so I started writing down these words, all right? So uh, we didn't have a clock, we didn't have clocks, Okay, Kawin Tabgiswa no Kidben Mana Asinanik. Okay, we didn't have clocks. Okay, but we did have this. Okay. Kiwisneme peep kadeying. We ate when we were hungry. Kinwebme pi ekwaziyang. We rested when we were tired. Kinbame. P. Kikim Goshien. We went to sleep when we were sleepy. Okay, we didn't need a clock to tell us all this, when to do this, when to do that. Okay? <clears throat> and uh, uh, we also had the uh, seven days a week. Okay? We, we actually had seven. Doris Busno, oh, she, she was Doris Busno, but I should say. She did a wonderful presentation on this, seven days of the week, okay? So, Gijigat uh, Odin, okay, is what we call them, days, okay? So, first day is Nungwa, today. Jinagwa is for yesterday, okay? Awasnagwa is the day before that. Kcheosanagwa is the day before that. Okay? Wabang, tomorrow. Awoswabang, the day after that. Kcheoswabang is the day after that one. Okay? So there are seven days of the week. And, uh, we got we got taught this uh, the the other system in school, okay? That there's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all that. All right. So we didn't have all those. Those were introduced to us, okay? So use these, okay? Rather than when, saying Wednesday, okay? Use these words. I'm saying them one more time. Nangwa today, Chinagwa yesterday, Awasnagwa the day before that. Kcheosnagwa, the day before that. Wabang, tomorrow. Auswabang, the day after that. Kcheoswabang, the day after that one. That's your seven days of the week right there. Okay, that's what you should be using. <laughs> All right, now we had the, uh, some more terms. Gabimisek. It doesn't mean last week. It means the last few days. Okay. Wanimisek, the next few days, okay? It doesn't mean next week, the next few days, okay? <clears throat> uh, we had this, all day long, gabegizik. All night long, gabedbik, all right? So we had all these words. <clears throat> okay, now listen here to this one. <clears throat> I'm going to give you the words it is and at. Okay? First part of the day. It is the first part of the day. Shkigizik. At the first part of the day. Shkigizikung. Okay? Dawn. Bidabun. At dawn. Bidabung. Morning. Kijep. Okay, uh, at morning time, kijeba gung. Noon, nakwe. At noon, nakwek. Okay, 
afternoon. Shkwanakwe. At afternoon. Sometime in the afternoon. Shkwanakwe. Okay. Last part of the day. Now remember, we didn't have clocks, but we got all these terms that we use. Okay, last part at the last part of the day. Evening. Naksha. At evening. Nakshik. Okay. Dusk or sunset. Pengishma. Okay. Uh, at sunset. Pengishmak. Okay. Uh, first part of the night. Shkidbek. Okay. At first part of the night. Shkidbek ung. Shkidbek ung. Okay. Night. Nibadbek. And at night time. Nibadbek kuk. Okay. Last one. Last part of the night. Ishpededbek. Okay. At the last part of the night. Ishpededbek ung. All right, so with all these terms we had before the clock, okay? Now I challenge you, okay? Start using these terms. Throw your watch away, get rid of it. <laughs> you don't need it no more, you got these words, all right? <clears throat> okay, now I wanna close this lesson with a very uh, a powerful statement, a powerful, uh, how spiritual our language really is, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, it's a story, okay? I uh, just, uh, I had been in Michigan maybe 10 years already, and people knew that I was a speaker of my language. And uh, so I got to meet a lot of fluent speakers back then. There was quite a few of them back then. But uh, so I get this call one time from uh, a friend of mine. And he says, uh, my, dad's, my dad's in the hospital. Uh, can you come by and see him? I said, okay. And uh, he, he said, uh, he's in a coma. He hasn't talked to anybody for a few days now. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll be over. So um, uh, he used to tell me, he says, the only place that we usually meet and use our language anymore is at church. They sing hymns and different things like that, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, so I get to the hospital. I get to the room. And of course, family's standing around there, and the doctor's there. So I walk in the room, and I speak to him, just like I always do. Anin Jim, Anishna. And he, 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 all of a sudden, he responded, and he, he spoke to me. And everybody's freaking out all around me. They say, hey, yeah, what, what, did you, what did you do? What did, I said, I just spoke to him. And the, the doc, even the doctors, he says, what, how did you do that? I said, what do you mean? I just spoke the language. That's all I did. But it went into the deep, deep part of this person's soul. And it revived him. He'd been in a coma for several days. And all of a sudden, the language Boom! It just became alive in him. And uh, everybody was amazed. And then, uh, so I asked him what he needed. <laughs> Is what he said. That's what he said. You know what that means? Tell these people to leave me alone. I want to go home. That's what he said. Okay? So, <clears throat> that's not the only time where I've gone to a, a place where the person is in a coma and then the language does its powerful, uh, uh, whatever it does. It's, it's, I don't know, it's very spiritual. Put it that way, very spiritual language. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you because of the type of lesson this, this came to be, okay? Our language is very powerful, people, very spiritual. 
Miguel Gabson Doyak Minongoting Wingersik Sonna. Thank you.